start, you just say, hi, I'm Brett Goldsmith. <clears throat> just talk to me. Hi, I'm, my name is Brett Goldsmith. <laughs> <laughs> Big picture. My name is Brett Goldsmith. Um, okay, I'm already moving. Um, my name is Brett Goldsmith. Um, I grew up, uh, this is my testimony, I grew up in a church. Southern Baptist in down in Ramsey. Um, we was there pretty much all the time. Mom was secretary. Uh, she was uh, really involved in the church. She was a youth leader, Sunday school teacher. So if the doors was open, we was there. Dad didn't go to church much, if hardly at all. Uh, so it was all on mom to get us there. And accepted uh, Christ at an early age, probably um, 14, 15. I uh, started working for Roger um, in 85, by the spring of 85. Uh, um, hard to go live here, go to church in Ramsey. Tried to make the transition back and forth for a while. Uh, and then after a while, we just I just stopped going. Met Kim, um, started dating her, and uh, decided once we decided to get married uh, and had Dylan, we decided that you know things. Kids have a way of calming you down a little bit and making things come to per, back to perspective. So we decided that uh, as a group that we needed to go to church. <clears throat> um, wasn't affiliated with any church in town. The only reason, the only thing we had of any affiliation with church was uh, that this church had let us get married here. Uh, why I don't know. It's usually church policy that if you're not a member or don't attend that. You, you know, can't use the facilities, but uh, at the time, they let us use them. And that was really the only affiliation we had of any church in town. Kim didn't return, attend church. So we came here. Uh, we was the only young, young ones in the church. I mean, there was a few kids, older kids, teenage kids, but we was the only young couple that I can remember being around. Um, Dylan was probably the only young baby at the time. So it was an older congregation church. Uh, but um, we enjoyed coming and this is, you know, just seemed to make it home. It, you know, after, it's just like anything, you, you start coming, you're a warm body, you need to be a fill a position. Uh, so they, you know, asked me to be a trustee. Um, I accepted that role and was trustee for quite a few years. And that was a big joke between you and I that, you know, you'll be a deacon one day. <laughs> and I, you know, no, I'm not deacon material. No, I'm not, you know, that's, and sure enough, I'm not, I'm not sure that I am deacon material, but there was a time that the church didn't have any deacons. They need, uh, needed some leadership. We accepted the challenge of being a deacon. To make more important decisions, I mean, spiritual decisions, uh, and, and just, you know, decisions that affect other people. One thing that comes to mind is whenever we was buying the annex, um, we decided as a church that what we would offer them. Um, and it fell upon my shoulders to go tell them that it was less than what they had actually wanted. And that was hard because they was members of the church. When you came here, you was 30, is that yeah. right? Yeah. 30. Uh, so you was relatively young. Your background was youth ministry. You wanted the uh, AV system. Yeah, projector, <clears throat> this and that, you know, we're like, slow down, easy. I don't want to squish the enthusiasm, but you have to go with baby steps sometimes. There were some ideas that I didn't think would work that they turned out good, you know, and so um, my opinion is not always right, <clears throat> hard to believe, <clears throat> but uh, so there were some things that I didn't think would work. Harvest Sunday in the uh, Sunday, you know, where you make a pledge right. to make a make a pledge to. Uh, I did not think that would. I didn't think that would fly. I thought uh, that's not going to work. But it, it did. It turned out really great. I love that's one of my favorite Sundays. It it, it, it it's one of my favorite Sundays of the year. Um, that really means a lot to me to uh, be able to write down on a piece of paper what we are willing to give and what we pledge to give. Um, and that's just like a, it's like a commitment that you, once you make that commitment, you do it. <clears throat> so you, uh, you know, there's no backing down there. <clears throat> I'm just ecstatic with the church. I just, I, 
I can't wait to get here every Sunday to see the new faces, uh, the new friends and families that come in. Uh, it, it's just, it, it just amazes me to see the friendly faces and how the group comes together. Uh, I like the shaking hands and welcoming people, and you know that's something that I really enjoy. Uh, if you are excited about your church, you will invite people. <clears throat> but if you're not excited about your church, if it's just oh it's fine, you know our church is fine, it's you know you're a little bit uh, less likely to invite. But uh, if you're excited, you'll you'll ask him to come. <laughs>